Morning, everyone. I've been involved with this great event, Strata, since its inception. I've spent the last eight years working in this new world of data and analytics. I joined Intel just over a year ago because I saw the role that they are playing in enabling a world in which we collaborate using data and analytics to accelerate cancer research, to improve treatment of patients suffering from Parkinson's disease, and to work on a host of other projects that benefit our lives. Now, for the past several years here at Strata, we've been talking about new data collection, storage, and processing techniques. But more recently, the industry has been, prog been progressing parallelized machine learning and deep learning, neural networks and cognitive computing. What this means to all of us is that we now have the data, the analytics, and the compute power to deliver more than insights. We can enable intelligence. From precision medicine to autonomous cars, from drones to billions of smart, connected devices, we're now entering the age of artificial intelligence. And it's not just about devices that are connected from the edge to the data center in the Internet of Things. It's about the Internet of Intelligent Things, devices that are aware and autonomous, driven by data, analytics, and compute power. Now, for me, this is perhaps best captured in the move we're seeing from video analytics to computer vision, from text to speech analytics. No longer are we talking just about offline analysis of video data. We're talking about machine vision. We're talking about systems that can understand and respond to speech. We're talking about creating household and companion robots, about flying machines that are aware of and can respond to their environment. We can build sense and avoid systems for autonomous driving. We can build drone detection systems for air traffic management. We can implement chatbots. We can improve patient health care by interconnecting patients, providers, and researchers. But all of this innovation in AI is a function of openness and collaboration. And that's what I want to talk to you a little bit more about today. Now, end to end and back again in a continuous cycle, Edge devices are connected through gateways to the data center. But as everyone in this room knows, it's about more than the wires and spectrum that interconnect these devices. It's about the speed and volume of data that we can pump through those connections. But in this new world of intelligent solutions, it's also about the raw onboard and data center compute power that make awareness possible and automated decisions and actions a reality. Now, if we're looking and thinking about delivering and scaling solutions, then we have to think about collaboration between the software solutions themselves, the software that enables them, and the compute power that they run on. Whether we're thinking about optimizing our model training, distributing analytic workloads across hundreds or thousands of computers, whether we're thinking about implementing near high-performance solutions or driving security primitives into silicon, this is very much a function of the marriage between software and the computer processes that that software runs on. So what is Intel doing? What are we doing to enable this new paradigm? Well, first of all, we're, we're focused on delivering amazing experiences. Increasingly, it's about more than the browser. It's about experiences in the context of mobile and edge devices. We're driving this from possibility to reality by investing in AI, innovation, in silicon and software with an open and collaborative approach. Given what we're known for, it may be surprising to many of you that we do so much in software, but we do, and we collaborate with academia. We work a lot in open source projects, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a moment. And we work closely partnering with and investing in the commercial vendor ecosystem. And we're doing that to ensure that the silicon and the software that uses it are fully optimized for this new breed of high performance, secure, intelligent analytic solutions. So just for a moment, I want to talk about what we're doing at the ingredients layer. We're working in open source 
to optimize and enhance security in Spark, Hadoop, and machine learning frameworks like Cafe and Tiano. We've introduced a, in a, a trusted analytics platform, an integrated environment for data scientists and application developers to embed insights and intelligence in their applications. We've introduced something called SNAP, an open source project to build data set telemetry solutions. And Mike Olson mentioned earlier that we've worked to introduce something called Apache Spot to the Apache Software Foundation. This is an environment that enables cybersecurity solutions to be built at cloud scale. So I would encourage all of you, if you'd like to know more about what we're doing in openness and with collaboration to enable this new innovative world of AI, to visit the Intel booth. Thank you very much.